Hi everybody! Today I'm playing Minecraft. Actually, I'm playing Feed the Beast. Uh, we just started a brand new server with a brand new mod pack. We're using the Dire Wolf 20 uh, 1.64, the beta. And our spawn is in a town. Um, and we have spawn protection, which means that I can't actually take any of this stuff. Oh, 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 I can take some of it. I don't know how far spawn protection actually goes. So, I've literally just started. I've never played this pack before. Um, I am going to try and make my my living here and figure out what I want to do and talk about Minecraft and talk about things. First, I need to pick a direction to walk. And I need to steal their... Their wheat. It's important that I have their wheat, okay? I need it to survive. And I don't think there are any villagers left because I can just need to kill them all. But yeah, we spawned in a village, which is kind of neat. And now I need to figure out where I'm going to make my home. So I started playing Minecraft uh, maybe two, three years ago, you know, so I, I was pretty late to the game. And, uh, but it's super fun. And then we got into Feed the Beast. Which is like Minecraft, only ridiculously more complicated. And I am doing the wrong thing. Because the first thing you do when you start playing Minecraft, first thing you do before anything else is punch wood. And I'm not doing that. I'm just walking. That's not good. So we're already off to a little bit of a rough start. I haven't played in a few months. Got me some slack. But I need to get some wood to make some tools. This is really neat. It tells me it tells me what um, pack it's from and what it is. Where it, so I so I know that's kind of neat. Um, this whole pack is new to me. We previously we had played with the ultimate pack, uh, which has a bunch of different technologies and, and different magic. But we wanted to change, and the ultimate pack wasn't going to get updated anymore because of apparently some drama between some people who make things. And that's unfortunate because I really liked it. But this one is also really cool. We're gonna make a crafting table while I'm talking. And uh, we're gonna make some sticks. Um, before she do me, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll make eight sticks. Ooh, I just found a sapling. I am always really sort of cagey with my materials at the beginning because I get super wound up about it. Okay, so we're gonna need a pick. We're gonna need an axe. We're gonna need a shovel. And we are going to need a sword. Okay, so we want one, one, two, three. So now, we've got a crafting table. Oh, actually, you know what we're going to do? While I'm standing right here, we're going to make some food. I don't know what that thing is that it's trying to make, but we're going to make some bread. Because without food, I will die. The cool thing, wheat flour. Bake me to make bread. Oh, neat. Cool. So now we've got some food too. We're doing we're doing pretty okay. That that village is a good find, and the fact that I could get some of it is useful. Oh, the other thing we need sheep. Sheep. I I feel bad for this sheep, but I don't feel that bad. Okay. I don't know why I can't move. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, I need one more sheep so I can make a bed. Beds are the most important thing in the game. Hello, sheep. You need to die. I, I would love to shear you, but I'm, I'm not there yet, unfortunately. Okay, do I have enough wood for a bed? Yes. Okay. Because I'm the only one on the server, which means I can sleep through the night. Because night is when all the monsters spawn. Apparently, some of the packs we added, uh, like Ars Magica, they have a whole ton of new monsters. And I don't know anything about them. And I would rather not die horribly. Just making sure that I'm alone. What is going on here? Oh, quicksand. It's quicksand. That is cool. Oh, man. Oh, bees. B 
bees are going to be really important to my new build. Um, because I, I did look over the pack a little bit and I noticed some of the stuff that isn't in here that I got used to, like my alchemist stone and things like that. And uh, so I'm going to need to make things using bees, which is awesome. Because you can breed bees. And is that another village? Or is that the same village? No, that's totally a different village. Anyway. I'm so lost. I, I guess I can't be lost because I don't really have a particular direction. Today's plan, I'm not going to film everything I do in Minecraft, but I did want to get the, the opening bits. And I love playing this game because you sort of make it up as you go along. I don't know what those are. But I hear a spider. I'm not going to go near those. We're just going to, we're just going to, what are those? Desert Nova. Okay. So that's, that sounds like something I don't want to touch. I mean, just, just sort of in general, probably not something that I really want to hang out with. Uh, I am, however, going to grab some cactus real quick. I sort of wander around and collect supplies until I find a good place to live. And for me, I think what I'm looking for is somewhere that connects to a lot of different biomes. So Minecraft is divided up into biomes, and this adds this adds tons and tons of new ones. But uh, like I'm in a desert biome right now, and there's a village over there, and that I think is a cherry orchard biome. This one looks like it's a forest or a hills. Um, and there's a couple of biomes that are really useful, like deserts are really useful because, oh, ooh, what are those? Resonating hive with magic bees. I would bookmark that on my map, but I know that somebody's probably going to get to it before I do. Uh, Ow! What? What is happening to me? I don't know what's going on. I'm taking damage. And I'm stoned. I don't know what's happening. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We're cool. Do those things hurt me? Is that the problem? I think that might be the problem. Okay, we're going to stay away from those from now on. And that pool of withering gunk is not something I'm interested in interacting with either. Oh yeah, this is... Oh. I haven't even gotten to do anything difficult yet. Okay, this is just water. I'm gonna grab some of these reeds. So, the neat thing about Minecraft, and especially I, I find with Feed the Beast, is that you really go through stages. I mean, you start out, like, like the stages of civilization. You start out with nothing. And you have to find a place to live and you have to find a place, you know, and you have to, you have to, you essentially, at, at first, your your biggest concerns are staying alive. How do we stay alive? We need food. We need shelter from monsters. That's what will we'll get, will keep us alive. At that point, like, all right, well, how can I make it easier to stay alive? You know, um, and you get into farming and uh, animal husbandry and things like that. I want to go see what that block is because I don't know what it is. I also don't know what that sound is. Oh, maybe it's that cow. Hello, cow. Actually, cow, I have an important job for you. Hey. Oh, whoa, I just got a hat. Oh, man, and I forgot my keys. It's like a hats thing, isn't there? Oh, oh wow, look at that. Also, I look like Iron Man, because on the old server, I was pretty much Iron Man. And I'm going to get there again here. Moonstone ore. Okay, I don't know what that is. It's all dark and scary. But we're gonna kill this cow. Normally we would build a co-op and Kaylee and I will probably do that at some point. Um, and we'll do that together. But for right now, I just need to find a place to stay alive. And I'm gonna chop up this sideways tree. I think it, maybe it's supposed to be like a fallen tree. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. There's apparently a bunch of them here. Oh, dear. I don't really know where I want to live. I'm just sort of looking for a big open space. Pig, come here. I need you. I need your soft fleshiness. All right. So 
get some pork and some we've got some beef now if I can find some cobblestone this looks oh there's coal down here okay so we're gonna mine some coal so we can make torches and it is definitely getting dark so we are going to put down the bed and when it is sufficiently dark we are going to sleep because I do not want to deal with monsters if I don't have to. It gets really dark. I don't know why it won't let me sleep. I uh, So Minecraft is also, um, if you haven't seen the Fear Let's Play, uh, you should go check out the Fear Let's Play, but seriously, I am apparently like super afraid of the dark. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we can sleep. And we wake up, and it's morning, and it's light, and there's coal, and everything's happy. So we need all this stuff for now. Oh, uh, what's that? That is aluminum. We don't need aluminum. Aluminum is not something I care about until... for I, I won't care about aluminum for a long time. There's tons of it, and I don't care. So my coal goes on five. Or not my coal, my torches. So, let there be lights. Now I can see, and I can mine. I'm going to use this to build some better tools. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Okay. The other advantage of the bed is if I die, I will spawn at my bed. Not wherever I, not back, way back at the beginning. Because when you die, you drop everything you were holding. Um, okay, so, aluminum gravel ore. Alright, so we are going to make some stuff here real quick. Uh, we're going to make a furnace. So that I can... I don't know what that... Pig, are you like... Oh my god, dubstep pig. I don't actually know what you're doing, pig. But now we're going to put some stuff in this furnace so we can cook it while we're doing that. Pig! Pig! Get out of my way! You're interfering with important work here. We are going to make a cobblestone pickaxe. We're actually, I think, going to make two cobblestone pickaxes. This will leave me with no cobblestone at all, but that is probably okay. And by probably, I mean definitely. Pig, guess what? Yep. Shouldn't get in my way, pig. Besides, you're going to be delicious. Okay. So we're going to get some more wood. As soon as I stop being totally turned around. So what I usually do in Minecraft, and, and I don't want to do that this time, because it's no fun doing the same thing over and over again, is I build a sort of a small house with a huge amount of basements. And I go deep into the ground and I stack everything on top of, of, of it. And it's it's pretty fun. But it also, I noticed last time that it got really depressing. I, I would, I realized that I hadn't seen the sunlight in, you know, weeks, real time weeks. So not really a fan of, is that a giant floating island? I also am easily distracted, um, but we're totally going to go check that out. Because if that's a giant floating island, I kind of want to look there. But um, yeah, I don't like I don't like staying underground for that long because I get a little squirrely. And I'm not talking about like role playing like my character gets squirrely. No, I, Jim, get squirrely from not leaving. I left my torch behind, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Darn. Oh well. I'll get over it. In fact, I just did. Uh, what is that? Um, that is a huge overhang. That's kind of cool. I've never done a floating house, partly because I always have a mine shaft, and it always seems pointless to have a floating house and also have a mine shaft. But I suppose it would not be entirely pointless to do so. But I don't think we're going to do a floating house this time. I just don't feel like it. Um, no, I'm looking for something that intersects with a couple of biomes and that is reasonably flat because I think what I want to do is make a campus 
I want to have a bunch of... I'm not sure what the deal is with this gravel, but I don't think I can use it yet. So we're just going to leave it where it is. I'm not too, too worried. The grass here is blue or purple. Uh, if you haven't watched my video on colorblindness, I am colorblind. So, and this is fibrous taint. This does not make this sound like a place where I want to live. Okay, moving on. Fibrous taint. That's creepy. Okay. Um, that doesn't look like a grass block. I'm in this huge valley. Oh, man. Some cool stuff here. Eucalyptus? That's new. I am excited. I have never seen, like, all of this stuff. I have never seen it before. Oh, that goes super deep, too. We're going to look around. This might, th this, this might be where we live. Instead of creating a campus, um, I, I'm having, I'm having, I'm in the process of having a new idea. I just need to be able to see what's going on. Okay. I wonder what's over there. All right. So we've got this, because we've got this huge hang, like this huge, huge valley. Is that what this is called, like as a, as a chunk? No, this is just extreme hills. Well, they are not lying. It would be kind of neat to string a house over it. And a series of interconnected buildings and things like that. I'm just going to jump because I'm foolish. <sighs> okay. Yeah, um, there is definitely falling damage in Minecraft. Um, I am not interested in experiencing it. More coal. Let's go get that. But yeah, because I could, I could run walkways back and forth. I just want to see sort of what's over here. I don't know how useful it'll be is the thing. Oh, that nearly ended very poorly. We'll get that coal later. Um, because uh, it would be a neat sort of artsy house. But I'm also thinking practically. Like I'm going to need room for my tree farm. I'm going to need room for um, my peat bog and like I, I know roughly sort of how much space these things take up and that is perhaps I don't know what that is and I am not gonna find out today probably because it will probably murder me pretty much everything in Minecraft wants to kill you oh my god that's awesome That is the coolest volcano I have ever seen. I would love to live in it, but that is probably not going to happen on account of it's like a lava popsicle. But we are going to bookmark it because we might use it for a thing later. Okay, so B to B is no longer bookmark. Okay, we need to figure out what bookmark is. So we need, to, but to do that, we need to not be somewhere where I will drown. Um, oh, look, a little tiny island. I love the look of those trees. Seriously, I am, I, I am half utilitarian and half just completely dopey about when it comes to Minecraft. You know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I need a flat space so that I have lots of room for things, and you know, anything, any. If I have a number of buildings and I have power concerns, I'm going to have to run conduit and, and piping between them. And this is, there's all kinds of important considerations here. And the other part of me is like, but I also have to like the color of the grass. Because if the grass is all brown and depressing, I don't want to live there. All right, so I'm going to take a quick second here. And so we're going to wrap up on this island. And I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Next week we'll have fear, and then we'll be back with more Minecraft. And next week I will hopefully find a place to live, because over there, 
looks really attractive. And there's rubber trees over there. Big fan. All right. So I will see you guys later. Out of oh good ale, I want my darling and my joy. Said, oh good ale, I want my darling and my joy. Oh good ale, I want my darling and my joy. Oh the night and morning.